What's going on guys? Welcome to my first tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. I'm going to show you some of the new things that Adobe brought to us in the software. And the first thing I noticed was the Meteor Browser. And if you look over here, we can select Thumbnail View. And we can move our mouse across the videos that we have here. And they call this scrubbing. And you can see some of the things going on in your video. Also, you can right-click on the tab over here and maximize the frame. And we can zoom in even closer. And if I come back here and right click on the tab, I can always restore the frame size and it'll take me back to my layout. So that I thought was pretty cool. You just click on the video also and you can move along in different points of the video like this too. So there's a couple new things there that I thought were useful. Now let's come over back here to the project and we have different files. Now this looks similar to what we have in Premiere Pro CS5. But again, if you click over here to the thumbnail view, we can see the video is a lot better. We can right click over here and again maximize the frame and you can do the same thing and you can move the mouse over if you want to. And you can click here and adjust it. Now I have the sound on so I'm going to right click over here, restore frame size. Let me just turn the sound off. I'm going to right click on the tab and maximize the frame. And I'm going to select I for in. And let's take another point and select O for out. This is a lot cleaner look for uh, Premiere Pro, and I think that was an excellent move by Adobe. Now, the other thing I noticed was the audio over here is adjusted, and then you have your audio mixer over here. Besides the interface, it's pretty much the same thing that you dealt with before, but it's a lot cleaner. And again, this is uh, another cool feature with Premiere Pro. Let's see, anything else that I want to show you guys so far? I think that was it. There's some other new features that Adobe is talking about. The one thing I did notice was that in this software compared to CS5, it is taking me a little bit longer to load the software. I don't know if that's something that is expected or it's just my computer. I don't think it's just my computer, but I am going from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes of RAM soon So, because I'm upgrading um, if this software is taking you longer to load. But uh, very easy to use. And also, if you want to come over here to Window Media Browser again, and I'll show you guys how easy it is to just navigate. You know, I have a folder here called Adobe Easy Intro. Now this, you know, is located in the D drive. You could select any location on your computer and then just access the files. So it makes it a lot easier. Of course you want all your um, video projects to have all the files in the same folder so it doesn't get altered by accident. But really if you're just going around your computer and trying to, you know, gain access to different files, this is just awesome. So you know, congratulations to Adobe for doing this because the previous versions of Premiere Pro weren't exactly um, the most user friendly. A lot of it was cluttered with panels, but this is awesome. And we're going to have more tutorials for Premiere Pro. If you like this video, thumbs up. And also, if you want to join us on Facebook, I answer questions. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.